Uh, I was actually just sitting here right before dark trying to call in some coyotes. Didn't have any luck with that and was getting ready to leave, but figured I'd do a quick video with turkey season coming up here in uh, about two, three weeks here in Indiana of my self-filming turkey hunting setup. What I use for coyotes and turkeys is very similar, so I figured I'd just give a quick rundown what I use to film my hunts with and uh, just kind of give you guys a quick run through of that. So the only things I don't have here with me that I would take with me turkey hunting are a camo net for my tripod and to kind of wrap around my camera and of course my turkey decoy. I don't have that with me, but everything else is pretty much the same. The seat I'm setting on uh, is pretty handy for packing in a decoy, but sometimes I wear a full on turkey vest. Uh, it just kind of depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing that day. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick run through on the camera gear here real quick. So the main camcorder is the Canon HF G30. I really like that because it has a 20 time optical zoom, uh, meaning it keeps its clarity really well out to 20 power zoom. And on top, I'm running a external or a shotgun mic. This is a cheap one from Amazon and I'll make sure and link it down below. But that's a Tacstar SGC 598. Whenever I first bought the camcorder, I uh, spent a little bit of money on this so i wanted to kind of save some money and get a cheaper microphone but after using it for i think four years now um, as you can see i'm still using it uh, it's performed really well and uh, no reason to upgrade to a road or anything like that in my eyes and it continues to do the job just fine uh, moving on here i have a manfrotto fluid head and a Manfrotto tripod, and I'll link these items down below. But the big thing here with self-filming hunts, whether it be turkey hunting, coyote hunting, or deer hunting, is making sure that you can utilize a Lank remote. And you can see here, mine's got a couple buttons missing, but they're buttons that I don't use, and this thing still works just perfect. The reason you want this is so you don't have to reach up here and be on the camera messing with the controls that are over here on this side. You've got this arm that sticks out here from your fluid head, and then you can just mount your Lank remote right on that. And what this does, you'll see when I push this toggle right here, watch the screen right up here. Whenever I push this toggle, that allows me to zoom in and out. That way my hands aren't moving very much and I can stay tucked in real tight to my knee and right by my shotgun, fully operate my camera. Kind of zoom in here for you. You've got your toggle switch for zoom. You can focus. So whenever you zoom in real tight, you can focus your picture, get good clarity. And then you can also record right here. Uh, this right here is an on and off button and I kind of forget what this one was. I never really used the on and off that much. Um, I just always turn it on before I start and then I always make sure and carry backup batteries with me or just an external um, power bank. And then I always clamp a GoPro clamp mount right here and this is kind of like a, uh, kind of like the camera coming back to you so you can see whenever you're swinging your shotgun around or just maybe some Facial expressions, the excitement after killing something uh, just kind of catches those um, point of view type angles and just adds some more angles to your videos. But that's my quick rundown right here. And then typically this would all kind of have a mesh uh, type netting on it. That way it kind of blends in with the surroundings. And uh, of course the turkey eyes don't pick it up near as well. And then I'll show you guys the seat that I'm sitting on here. So this here, as you can see, it turns into a backpack, but then it will fold up and it allows you to have your seat there and a backrest. But then I can also, one of my smaller decoys, I can stuff it down in here 
and then you can fasten this. Try to do this one-handed for you guys while holding this phone. And fasten this, and allows me to lay my camera right in there, and then I've still got these handles to pick up and carry it. And I'll go ahead and do that real quick and show you guys. So there you guys can see it. I've got the clasp uh, fastened together there, and then the camcorder and the tripod and everything, and the GoPro just lays right inside there. And that allows me to just pick it up and carry it. And then what I'll do is I'll just use the backpack straps, throw that on just like a backpack, and chase the turkeys through the woods. Makes it super handy and easy to carry your gear around. That's it guys, it's starting to get dark here. I uh, just wanna show you a quick rundown of the gear that I use. Any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Good luck to all you guys this year in the turkey woods. Let me know how you do and uh, stay safe. Happy hunting. See you guys, bye.